But is there anything we can do specifically to prepare ourselves for uh, the interview process <clears throat> into dental school? You, you, you said, is there anything? Yeah, anything, anything specific. Well, for, well, the most specific thing is to realize that it's not one thing. It's a whole bunch of things, right? It's a whole bunch of things, and and, and Malachi can can share, and Ansley can share as well. But um, one of the most important things is to know your resume or your CV, right? very very important that you know it back and forth to the point where you're comfortable talking about what you've done and what those experience experiences will allow you to bring to uh, the school that you're applying to you also need to know about the school you need to have a more of a of an in-depth understanding of uh, that school because one of the questions that may come up is why Maryland? Why Tufts? Why BU? Why UCLA? Why do you want to go to Meharry? Why? Why? And you've applied to 10 schools, right? So, so why do you want to come to our school? That's where you have to have that, those four sentences that Mal, soon Dr. Malachi mentioned as to the reasons why you're applying to this school. It could be because the school is known to uh, put out specialists or maybe it's the small school size, or maybe it's um, the school doesn't have a lot of specialty programs and graduates are exposed to a lot of specialty techniques and experiences that you may find as appealing the things that you may want. So uh, you really have to know why that school is part of your preparation. Also, you have to prepare uh, yourself and feeling comfortable and talking uh, in front of people or even the camera, right? Because most of these these interviews now are still virtual, and for which is uh, which is great for se uh, several candidates or a lot of candidates because it's saving some money on having to travel all over the place, right? Uh, and that's helpful. But there are certain techniques and things that you have to learn to be able to do. Uh, uh, in person, just like you have to do them um, uh, in front of the camera or in front of a you know a virtual type of pre uh, preparation or presentation, all of those things are key, very key. You you need to see what you look like when you're talking to people, right? Your body language, your eyes, your hands, and how you are coming across to the people across the table or across the screen that are that you're bonding with. Also, you got to find some things about the school that you like. And also you have to have questions. Yes, you have to have questions. Because remember, just as much as the schools pick you, you pick the school too. Like student Dr. Malachi, he had 10 schools, interviews, eight schools, acceptance, uh, last time I checked, you can't go to more than one dental school at the same time. So you got to pick. You got to pick. So the, those interviews at the schools are for you, too, because you will have to come down to making a decision when you get multiple acceptances at schools. And uh, so you want to use that time at the interview to get to know the individuals, but also have your list of questions. So you have to have a list of questions for your interview. So those are some of the things that I think are important in preparation for interview day. Uh, student Dr. Malachi, Student Dr. Ansley, what do, you, what do you guys think? I would, you know, definitely agree with everything that was said. Um, uh, just reminiscing on my interview process, I will honestly say uh, the A schools I interviewed at, um, when I interviewed at UPenn and Columbia University, those were somewhat my most intimidating interviews per se. Um, not because like the people there were mean or anything like that, but because they're Ivy League schools. So when I was going into those interviews, I was thinking like, dude, I'm this dude from PG County. Like, why am I here in these interviews with these people? But I quickly realized that one of the most important things you can do in your interviews is really be personable. Uh, I had a talk with the, the Dean 
at Columbia University and he told me flat out, he said, you know what, Malachi? He said, you were the only one that was in this room that actually said good morning to me. And we were speaking about his home in, Cal in, um, in Florida for like five to 10 minutes before the interviews even started. Mm. And that stuck with him throughout the whole process of the interview. So when wow. you're in a Zoom room or something like that, don't hesitate to be that person to ask everyone how everyone's doing or ask where everyone's from. Because when you break the ice like that, they show like, hey, this is a person who's personable and is confident and, you know, being here and is not super nervous. Of course, you're going to be nervous, but it's not so nervous to the point where like it's paralyzing and you're causing yourself to, you know, lose points on your interview because you're just so paralyzed by the fear of you being in an interview that you don't say anything or you're 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 sounding somewhat disingenuous or anything of that nature. So I have a whole bunch of tips on interview stuff. So if anyone wants to reach out to me about the interview process at certain schools or um, how to best prepare, um, definitely do. So Dr. Ansley was gonna uh, share some of his experiences with regards to prepping for the interview as well. Yes, uh, thank you, Dr. Hayes. I just wanted to reiterate to the USNDA that we will be holding, hosting uh, mock interviews with the SNDA here at UMish. Um, and just, yes, um, and I just wanted to throw out there that there are like different interviewing um, techniques that schools offer. So I know here at Michigan, we do multi um, MMIs, we call them multi mini interviews. Um, and it's a little bit um, unconventional, if you will, um, than basically just the Zoom um, person to person um, interviews that some schools do hold. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there. Some schools just do um, personal interviews with someone on the interview committee where you're talking to somebody and they're, you know, they're looking at your application or not, and they're asking you about yourself um, and, you know, why dentistry, those type of questions. And then the MMIs are a little bit um, more, um, they ask like certain ethical questions, if you will. Um, and it's, it's not really related to your application at all. So um, that's just something to throw out there to you all now to get you thinking about. Um, and I could find it a, a quick link of what an MMI is, but I just wanted to, um, you know, raise your ears to, to the different type of interview styles that schools have. Yeah, and, and some of these interviews, you know, most of the interviews, they're trying to do what? They're trying to find out more about who you are as an individual. Right. They have your application. They've seen your scores. They read your personal statement. They know that you're number five in your class or you're number 30 in the class. They know your DAT score. OK, great. But who is Darwin Hayes as a candidate? Who is uh, Kamal as a candidate? Who is Nisha as a candidate? Like who are like what are they like? What who are they? They see everything on paper. Now they get to see you in front and they want to know how you present yourself. So if you're not used to talking, if you're not used to having conversations with people, if you're not used to finding interesting things to help uh, continue the conversation that you're having with somebody, if you're not used to doing all that stuff, you need to practice and you need to get used to it very quickly. Because in addition to Dentistry being an art and a science, it's also about communication and, and and being able to communicate with those that you're helping, right? Your patients, your people in your community um, who know nothing about dentistry except for it hurts and Dr. Wright hurt me. You know, he didn't give me enough Novocaine or enough anesthesia or uh, Dr. Hayes must have done that root canal wrong because I'm still feeling pain. You know, all these different things have nothing to do with uh, 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 the science and the and the technology behind what we do. It's more or less how you interact and talk with the people that you're serving, right? And talking with them in, in terms that are not technical terms, but things that they can relate to and having enough cult cultural competence to be able to share information and also receive information and listen to what they're saying or maybe even what they're not saying, uh, all of which are part of communication, right? So that is important to be able to 
display and demonstrate during the interview because schools are looking for candidates and future students that they're going to be training that represent the school not only just during the four years that you're there but later on as alums as well all of that is is important to know so that's why you have to have questions that's why you need to be prepared uh to handle not only information about your application but also what would you do type of scenarios right whether it's something related to other students you see that might be cheating and yes <laughs> cheating does go on in dental school it's it just happened today and it's going to happen tomorrow uh trust and believe you know how, how do you handle those situations right how do you handle those ethical situations all of those things are important uh and that schools want to at least have some i possibly have some idea as to how you are going to represent the school and also how you would handle it as well so um I think I think uh, I hope that's that's been helpful as well. Hey, this is Dr. Darwin. Are you looking for some mentorship, some accountability, some help with getting all of this application and getting into dental school and getting into residency and then just your life as a new dentist? Look, I'm having monthly, twice a month, live coaching sessions and office hours so we can talk about all of that. I don't want you to struggle with the application process. I don't want you to struggle uh, with getting ready for interviews. I don't want you to struggle about what list of schools and programs to apply to. We talk about all of that in our group, our monthly group called Dr. Darwin On Demand. Dr. Darwin On Demand. Check it out down below here. And then also, if you're interested and you want to get that help so you don't have to struggle anymore, so that you can get some mentorship, some accountability, and some help. Hit this link right here. Hit that link right there so we can get you signed up and enrolled today. Today. Your future starts today. And I'm here to help you. This is Dr. Darwin. And join my members-only community called Dr. Darwin On Demand. Look forward to seeing you soon, okay? Now back to this episode. Enjoy. Enjoy.